Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. I'm getting a few questions, emails about heated grips. They seem to be a very popular thing to install now, now with this uh, colder weather, and I understand that. But heated grips, you need to first choose the correct ones. A lot of you guys are going, oh, I like this design, I wanna get this one and purchase it, or I like just the plain rubber ones and I wanna purchase it. But you need to first look at the description in the catalog. Right here in front of me, I have a 2020. All right, and I've got this section here. And if you look at the very first one here, we've got here, it, this fits 08 and later touring machines with original stainless steel handlebars. Does not fit CBO models or models with chrome handlebars. So make sure you check off on your list. Do you have a CBO? Yeah, I can't use these. Or I've changed my handlebars to chrome ones, then I can't use these. And then down further, it says, does not fit 0813 models with internal wiring. Does your bike have internal wiring? Are there wires sticking out of the handlebars going from your controls? Or are they inside the handlebars? You need to make these choices. And then if we go on to the next one down here, the final one always says, see accessory handlebars for specific heated hand grip exclusions. That's their caveat of, if you've changed your handlebars, you need to check to make sure that all the wiring that comes with these grips will reach to the plugs that you need to. Now, I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the page here because this one seems to get the most confusion. Heated hand grip collection. That's with these down at the bottom here that has this and this choice. Now, if you look, there are contour here, but there's also a different part number down below for contour. So make sure that you're ordering the correct one for the correct year. Yes, they both say 08 and later, but this one fits 96 to 07 touring models where this one does not. Now I've blown up this so we can review it. Fits 08 and later touring, but if you continue on 14 to 16 touring models, this is where a lot of people give me emails and want, where do I connect all these wires? Requires a separate purchase of the electrical connector kit six, nine two zero zero seven two two and then for 17 and later models it requires a different kit and it does not fit 0813 models with of course the internal wire handlebars so read the description see where yours fits and then you're gonna need this separate electrical connector now the brand new 2020s and some of the 2019s, they have the wiring already in the main harness and you might find in the instructions on your handle grips about plugging into the fairing. But other than that, let's just say with this description that I've got, with this description, 14 to 16, you need a separate wiring harness because this kit draws 2.8 amps. You cannot plug this into anything inside the fairing because then you are adding on to the amperage that is being drawn on a separate circuit and the body control module will shut down your motorcycle. This kit requires this electrical connection harness and I've got the instructions over here because this harness provides battery power, ignition accessory power, and ground connections from the Molex connector that is on the side, inside the side cover on your left side. So what I'm trying to tell you is, is you need to make smart choices on the handlebar grips that you choose. Go through the description, and if you need to, ask your parts person, can we bring up the instructions? He can do that on HDNet, and then he can go through and go step by step for you to know what you need, what you don't need. You might need crimpers for a special terminals. You might need to splice into a different harness. On the very early models, you had to go to the fuse box, take the fuse box apart and add wires so you could add a separate 10 amp fuse for the accessory circuit. So there's more than just plug and play on a lot of heated grips. My first suggestion is choose the grips, talk to your parts person, and then have the service department put them in. It's a lot faster, 
it's a lot cleaner, all done right, and then you can just right away turning on your heated grips. But if you're gonna attempt this at home, do your research first. Make sure you have the accessory wiring for hooking up the power. Make sure you have the tooling to be able to install the wires in their correct location. And on some models, know that you're going to have to remove the gas tank, your seat, and the left cover to run a power wire from the fairing all the way down to the accessory power inlet. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.